Ooh, I look like a blank canvas. <laughs> Just nice brows. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we have a snow day. Technically, it's not snow yet, like it's still raining, but apparently like we're gonna get like a foot to a foot and a half between this afternoon and tomorrow morning. So everything closed down preemptively, my bookstore is closed. So I'm here enjoying the day off. And what do I do with my days off? Well, I clean, I do a lot of laundry and I put makeup on my face. <laughs> so I haven't done a chatty get ready with me in quite some time. I think I've only done one before. Um, so anyway, I just thought it would be fun just to sit down, try out some things, really take my time with my makeup since I'm obviously not going anywhere. The only thing I would do is maybe shovel today. But, but the worst of the snow isn't supposed to hit until like 5 or 7, so I might just be shoveling tomorrow morning. Anyway, let's just jump into it. So I actually just spent like half an hour doing my brows, like I plucked them all. And then after I was done, I just went ahead and threw some dip brow through them, and then a little bit of the dark brown powder from my Pan That palette, just to set everything in, and that's all I have in my face so far. I really want to use the Bad Habit Aura palette. I've dug into this once or twice. As you can see, I do have some dips in like these, uh, like this mauve shade right here, a couple of the purple shimmers, which are gorgeous. Um, you definitely need to glitter glue with these and there is some fallout, so I am doing my eyes first. Prime first with my MAC Paint Pot. I'm using Soft Ochre again. I started using Painterly for the longest time, but I found that it was leaving like a pink undertone to all of my looks even when I didn't really want like a pink undertone. So I'm going for a little bit more of a neutral look, I grab Soft Ochre. I actually prepared today, like I have like all my makeup set out like you're supposed to, Monica. So I did have a few things that I just wanted to like talk about, like I threw down a couple of like ideas for things that I wanted to do. One was how like how much worse my anxiety has gotten lately. Like I've dealt with anxiety ever since I was a teenager, but I don't know what it's been this past month. Like it's been like cranked up into overdrive and I can tell it's like just my anxiety getting to me cause it's all about stuff that logically I know like I don't have to be worried about. Like, and that's the worst part about having like an actual anxiety disorder is that 99% of the time it's stuff that you're really blowing out of proportion but it's like your mind can't like stop itself and of course if you suffer from anxiety I would always recommend talk to your physician talk to your therapist your psychiatrist if you have one but I did I did therapy and I did that for a while and honestly it wasn't the best fit for me um also I'm not the best at like talking about my stuff so I just didn't, I never really felt comfortable with that, um, especially as a teenager and even like recently. So recently I've been trying to figure out like better ways to just help my anxiety that I can do every day here at my house. And one thing that I've really like been trying to get more into is journaling. Okay, so since I know that these shadows do have a lot of fallout, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some of these shadow shields that I have. They are really sticky. So definitely recommend just taking off like the top part of it, sticking it on your hand and then going in. So otherwise you'll like rip off your eye. I look amazing. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is a mixture. I'm gonna use Dream State, which is like this neutral color right here. And then I'm going to take Awakening, which is like this salmon color right here. So I'm gonna put Dream State just all over the lid. And then I'm going to do Awakening as the transition and like crease color so anyway journaling I've been trying to journal basically my entire life and no matter what I do I cannot stick with it I tried buying nicer journals I get moleskins I get all these nice things especially at the bookstore that I work at I get the discount so I can get nicer journals for like actually an affordable price so I have quite a few notebooks and journals right now and even with those, I just find myself not reaching for them. And I found that like with me, the issue was if I set a time and I set, you know, a limit or anything on what I needed to write or what I had to write, I would never stick to it. And then at the end of the day, I would just not think, oh, it's not worth writing down. Oh, I don't want to do that. The best thing that I found for me personally is just to keep a small journal 
in my purse. I'm just building up the salmon color in my transition. So the best thing is just to keep the journal and a pen in my purse at all times. And whenever like I feel overwhelmed or when I feel anxious or like a need to just get stuff out, I'll pull the journal out and I'll scribble in a few words here or there. I feel that really takes away like the pressure of actually sitting down and trying to journal something. Whereas with this, it's just always with me. And if I ever need it, I can just go ahead and jot you know something down and i'm not worried about being neat like i see all these like really pretty journals online and i'm like i'm not artistic uh, my handwriting is really garbage like i'll never be able to make it look that pretty so I'm, i had to really just sit down and tell myself like you don't need to like make it look pretty this is really just to help you with your anxiety and just to get everything out instead of holding everything in and worrying about it constantly so that's actually been working really well for me as you can see there's like a ton of fallout so it's a nice palette, really pigmented, but just beware that there's a ton of fallout. I really want to go in with the shade Ecstasy, which is like this beautiful like emerald green shimmer. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use a glitter glue. I'm going to take glitter glue all over the lid and then go in with Ecstasy. So anyway, journaling has been really helping me. Another thing that I've been, you know, doing for years that's helped my anxiety is asmr videos i absolutely love listening to them like before i go to bed at the end of the night i have like my regular headphones in and i'll just lay down and just i have a whole whole playlist of like my favorite asmr videos and i'll just let the playlist go but i found myself like if i'm feeling like really stressed like in the middle of the day or like if i'm on my lunch break and i'm like Ugh, like i'll just throw on like a short asmr video and use that as kind of like a meditation and just feel the moment feel grounded and that's helped a lot too because i used to always like limit myself like oh just watch those before you go to bed at night um but like there's nothing stopping you from watching them in the middle of the day like i already live on youtube you know might as well and if it works it works like definitely i mean don't watch them like if you're driving or anything but you know if you're at work or if you've got a break or you've got some time to yourself those are awesome Oh, I like that. It's it's different. <laughs> so journaling ASMR and then working on my new hobby have been what's helping me the most with my anxiety. And my hobby is YouTube. It's something fun that I get to do that I can focus on. I don't... Something I can focus on, something I can look forward to, and something I just really enjoy for the sake of enjoying. And I feel like that's an issue that a lot of people, like, in their mid-20s run into. Like, you work and then you go home. You work and then you go home. You hang out with friends, but then you realize, like, I don't have any hobbies. And I had that realization, too. So, I made YouTube my hobby, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this like that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the shadow shields off, clean it up, and then do some liner. Okay, and we're back. My battery cut out, but I went ahead and threw on winged liner, and I didn't put lashes on. I just threw on some mascara. I used the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara, and I really like it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and prime, and then I'm gonna use concealer to carve out the top of my brows. I used to think that was like a bit of an extra step, but I find that it makes my brows look so much better better than just putting like foundation on all over my face so i digress today i'm going to use the nyx photo loving primer and then i'm going to spray the smashbox primer water on top of it i actually just placed an order the other day for my first wig i'll throw a picture up here of what it looks like but it's this beautiful like silver gray really long wig and it's basically like the color that I originally wanted to dye my hair once upon a time. I did attempt to dye my hair a couple of months ago, an under dye. I had this part bleached. So you can see like this is like a lighter brown than the rest of my hair. That's the closest that I'm gonna get it for now. I'm just gonna leave it like that, let it grow out. I don't regret trying to dye my hair, um, even though it didn't come out nearly what I was hoping or expecting it to look like. Ultimately, it was a learning experience and I learned that, you know, the upkeep is a lot and that you're not always going to get exactly what you think you're going to get out of it. And that is actually what got me interested in wigs. 
So I know a lot of my favorite YouTubers use wigs and wear them and I never really like looked into like you know how much wigs cost or you know what goes into them because I've always had you know a lot of hair. So anyway, I've been looking around, I've been watching a lot of like videos on YouTube about wigs, looking up a lot of websites. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, but I also didn't want to get something really cheap. Like I want this to be something that I could actually like wear, maybe out. We'll see like how comfortable and how good I can make it look, but definitely for videos at least. Um, so I got it on sale, so ultimately I think it cost around $70, and there was free shipping with that. So according to the tracking information, I should get that the day after tomorrow, which is Friday. So I'm really excited about that. If you know any, like, YouTube channels that focus, like, solely on wigs or on, like, hairstyling, hair care or anything, please let me know down below. I would love to get more into that because... Up until now, like, all I do is just, like, straighten and blow dry my hair because it's, like, super curly. If you've seen any of my other videos, I'll link one above where my hair is curly. Like, that's how it is naturally. And I, every time I wash it, I end up, like, blow drying it and then straightening it just to get it to look like this. And I know over time that's really damaging, so another thing that's led me to try out some wigs. Today I'm going to use the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This is in shade 710 and I hope that it is light enough because I am pale. So after I placed that order for that first wig, I actually went onto Amazon and was looking at cheaper wigs because I saw a lot of videos. I don't like how this looks with the brush at all. Because I saw a lot of videos about people trying out like cheaper Amazon wigs and a lot of them looked really good. So I actually went out and I purchased another one like earlier today and this one was cheaper. It was definitely around like the $20 mark and it's like a green wig, which I think is going to look awesome. Like if it looks like it is in the picture, that's one thing. Like you don't exactly know what you're getting sometimes with Amazon. For concealer, I'm going to go in with that same Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, but this one's in the shade C6. Yes, yeah, so I'm really excited for that wig. I'm also, I know I'm a little late to this train, but I'm also really excited about the fact that The Shape of Water like won Best Picture at the Oscars. I saw that movie on a date with my boyfriend back when it came out and it became like one of my favorite movies of all time. Like I love Guillermo del Toro and one of my favorite movies of all time is Pan's Labyrinth. And no matter how many times I see that movie, I am sobbing at the end of it. I just, it's such a beautiful movie, it really is. For under the eyes, I'm going to go in with the Velvetizer Powder from Urban Decay to set down there. And then on the rest of my face, I'm going to set it with the Balm Sexy Mama Translucent Powder. So yeah, I love that movie. I also love the soundtrack. The music from that movie was just stunning. So I actually just bought the, the whole soundtrack and I've been listening to it like on repeat <laughs> for the whole morning. God, it's beautiful. So actually the night that we went to see that movie is kind of a cute funny story so let me go ahead and tell that we were this was back when we had to like uber most everywhere because my boyfriend broke his leg and he's fine now but he was in a really bad like accident and was on crutches and then on a cane for a while and for a while he was pretty bedridden um but this was back when we could first start you know getting out of the house and going out and we had to uber everywhere still because i don't drive because i suck at it and he couldn't drive because of his leg so we were ubering to dinner and we had dinner and then we had some time to kill before the movie and across the street from the restaurant we went to just an applebee's across the street from the applebee's was a marshall so we were like let's just go there and kill some time so we go and for some reason that day the marshall's was packed just like beyond packed and i found like one thing that i wanted it was like an eyeshadow palette and so I go to wait in line and I end up in line for like 20 minutes, which normally it's not that bad. Um, but the mistake that we made was waiting until like I checked out to call the Uber to go to the movie theater. Now the movie theater was only like 10 minutes away, but it was like a Saturday night. And so we called the Uber and the Uber is 20 minutes away. And the movie started in like... 20 minutes so we're waiting and we're waiting if we had been smart we would have called the uber when i got into line and then by the time i was done 
it would have been here. Uh, but hindsight is 2020. So we're waiting for the Uber and unfortunately it looks like she gets lost. So she's driving around in circles trying to find the store. Ultimately we call her and we're like we're right by the Marshalls here we're here. And she comes she picks us up and we head to the theater. We get to the theater like five minutes into the previews already and we go jump in line we're waiting we finally get to the front we had like ticket vouchers for free tickets so we couldn't just like go to the machine and do it we had to wait in the line to do it so we get up to the front and as we're just trying to check out this like old woman not old she's in like her 60s or something but she can't figure out the ticket machine because they're trying to see i Tanya, which was totally sold out it was like the opening weekend for i Tanya. And apparently they were trying to see it, but they were buying their tickets right before the movie started, and it looks like it was all sold out. So she was, like, talking out loud, trying to figure out what it was, and then she kept complaining. And she, like, reached over, and, like, as I'm talking to the guy trying to get our tickets figured out, she, like, cuts me off and says, I can't get my tickets. And I'm like, excuse me? Like, this poor guy, like, he's obviously overworked. It's one guy at, like, the ticket counter. So it's you've got, like, the self-serve, like, computer on one side, and you have the one line for tickets. And, of course, everyone's coming in now to pick up their tickets and stuff. He had the deal with her, and I'm sitting here, like, how are you that rude? Like, you're the one who waited this long to get your tickets for a movie that's obviously going to be sold out, and you can't just yell at the ticket counter person just because you, just because you don't have the foresight to just take care of your own shit. <laughs> anyway, that when people are like that kind of rude it really just pisses me off like there's no reason to get mad at someone else for your own incompetence so anyway we go through all of that like i apologize to the ticket guy i'm like i'm sorry like people suck and he's like no it's okay so we get our tickets but it's one of those theaters where you have to like pick your um you have to pick your seats because the seats are assigned uh, which is nice because they're normally nicer seats but then like if all the nice tickets or if all the nice seats are taken then you kind of gotta you know take what's left and we didn't think it'd be that busy because shape of water had been out for a while by the time we went to go see it but like the theater was packed there were two seats left and they were right in the front row so anyway we get in we walk into the theater like as the last trailer is playing so great timing and he still had his cane so it actually worked out well that everyone else was already seated that way we could just go straight to the front and sit down what ended up working out so well though was that and okay so let me jump in with bronzer so for bronzer i'm gonna go in with the physician's formula butter bronzer right here and then for highlight i'm gonna take the shade from my pan that palette which is like the light gold shade the second to last right here for my highlight but anyway so we go to sit down and it turns out that we're in a theater with chairs that recline all the way back and being in the front row was actually like the perfect seat because you lean all the way back you don't have to screenshot up to see it you get the whole it was like watching your own giant tv at home it was awesome and then you actually sit down and right when we sit down the movie starts and it was just a beautiful beautiful film if you haven't seen it go see it i love it i love it to death so it ended up being like such a cute night and it was an awesome movie, great date night. Okay, so for setting sprays, I'm gonna go in with those before my lip color. I'm gonna take the makeup primer spray from Scandinavia. Then I'm going to go in with the mattifying setting spray from Cover FX. And yes, I have a total girl fan. It's cute. Before I go in with the lip, I'm going to go in on the lower lash line. I really want to do another pop of color because I can go as crazy as I want. I'm not going anywhere today. So 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 i really want to go in with energy which is like this bright lime green so let's let's try that and see what comes out of it okay so it's actually a bit of a subtle look but i'm liking it it looks cute for my lip color today i'm going in with the color pop ultra satin lip and this is in mess around which is like a taupey like brown color really been feeling like the 
like the mauve dark brown like lips recently which is silly for me because it's like spring like it i like it a lot all right guys and this is the final look thank you so much if you stayed through the whole video i'm sure it was really long but you know i had fun just sitting down and just like talking about like whatever popped into my head so if you like get ready with me don't forget to hit that like button so i know if you want to see any more in the future and don't forget to subscribe with that little bell icon so you're notified whenever i post a video and i hope i'll see you in my next one bye